The series is sponsored by Syncfusion. Syncfusion is a leading third-party component vendor that's been in business for over two decades. They offer more than 1,700 UI components for various platforms like Blazor, Angular, React, JavaScript, Flutter, .NET MAUI, and classic platforms like Windows Forms, WinUI, Xamarin, and more. They're also recognized for their powerful document processing libraries. With Syncfusion, you can build your own stunning desktop, web, and mobile apps in no time. Get their complete component suite for free via their community license program. For more details, visit www.syncfusion.com. Hey everyone, my name is Vishwas and welcome to a brand new series on Node.js for beginners. In this introductory video, let's understand what is Node.js, why you might want to learn it, take a look at the course structure and the prerequisites to get started. Let's begin. If you visit Node.js.org, which is the official site for Node.js, you're going to see Node.js is an open source cross-platform JavaScript runtime environment. Now what I would like to do is break this down into three parts. First, Node.js is open source, which simply means the source code for Node.js is publicly available for sharing and modification. Second, Node.js is cross-platform, which means it is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Finally, Node.js is a JavaScript runtime environment. Now to understand this last part, we need a little bit of background. So let's revisit this slide after we've understood what exactly is a JavaScript runtime environment. For now though, at a high level, let me give you a few good reasons as to why you might want to learn Node.js. Node.js is a technology with which you can build end-to-end -end JavaScript applications. Learn one language and you can develop both front-end and back-end for your apps. Second, a number of major companies like LinkedIn, Netflix, PayPal have all migrated from other back-end technologies to Node.js. Third, full-stack development is one of the most sought-out skill sets by companies right now and if you're a front-end dev, learning Node.js will take you one step closer to landing that dream job. There is huge community support as well, and you can be rest assured Node.js won't be going anywhere anytime soon. It is always a good time to learn Node.js. All right, now that we have an idea of what is Node.js and why you may want to learn Node.js, let me briefly go over the course structure. In the first section of the series, we will learn a few terms and concepts that are crucial to understanding what is Node.js. That's right, an entire section just to understand what we mean by a JavaScript runtime environment. Once we understand what is Node.js, we will proceed to understand the underlying features that are responsible for making Node.js a great technology. In section two, we will learn about modules in Node.js user-defined modules to be more specific. In section three, we will dive deeper and learn about the core built-in modules that Node.js ships with. This is code that you can readily use in your application. Section four is where it gets really interesting. We're going to take a closer look at the internals of Node.js. A slightly advanced topic, but one that will help you write better code. For section five, we will learn about NPM, the Node Package Manager, which is a huge library of third-party modules that we can use for a variety of requirements in our own application. NPM is essential to build any medium to large scale app with Node.js. For section six, we will see how we can use Node.js to build a command line interface tool. Yes, you can build web servers with Node.js, but you can also build CLI tools. Finally, we will wind up the series with a miscellaneous section where I will cover a few topics that don't necessarily fall under one specific category. 
Now you might be wondering, is this all there is to it? Well, about Node.js itself, yes, these are pretty much the core concepts you have to learn. What you typically come across at work though, is building web applications using a framework like Express.js. Defining API endpoints, connecting to databases, adding authentication, etc. But let me tell you, to understand Express.js, which is a node framework for the web, you should first know the concepts in Node.js. And Express.js is a huge topic to cover. Which is why I will create a separate Node.js plus Express.js series for beginners in the near future. When we are done, you will have a solid understanding of both Node.js and Express.js. Now as far as the prerequisites are concerned, we just have one. And that is modern JavaScript. If you're new to JavaScript, please watch my crash courses on the fundamentals of JavaScript, the advanced topics in JavaScript, and also the video on the important concepts in ES2015 and above. A link should be in the description down below. All right, if this is clear, let's proceed to the first section where we will learn about a few important topics that lay the foundation to understand what exactly is Node.js. I'll see you in the next one.